Pointing Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's anime Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Part 2, The Separation, Episode 11, aka Episode 24, titled Too Early to Win, Too Late to Know. Before I get into this live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, okay, for those of you that don't know how my live reactions work, basically because I'm not sponsored and the last thing I need is a copyright strike, I can't show anything on the screen. However, um... On my side of the screen, I have the uh, anime and colored edition of the manga side by side because everything is from a manga reader's perspective. Um, when it comes to art and animation, I have been very much spoiled by the uh, ongoing modern manga renaissance. So yeah, when it comes to art, whether it be manga, anime, and mama, I am extremely particular in what I want. I know what I want. And you can watch any of my live reactions, you will see it. Um, when it comes to writing, whether it be dialogue or storyboarding, I'm obviously a lot more lenient. Otherwise, I wouldn't be covering um, Thousand Year Blood War. Uh, dialogue, I know it's not going to be a one-to-one -one translation. I understand it won't. I want it to be, but it won't. As long as it's within Kubo's intent, I am fine with it. Um, now, when it comes to the storyboarding and whatnot, um, as long as the episode is flowing okay and there's not any content skipped, I am absolutely fine with it. Now, the filler... That's why I'm covering this, is for the filler. Um, oh, I'm so excited for this, because we're, hell, we're starting off uh, this episode with the filler. As I said, as long as the content is not being skipped, I'm happy with it. I'll be fine with the filler. Um, but anyways, where we're starting off this episode, actually speaking of, is with filler, and it's set, um, based on what I'm seeing here, uh, it's set a thousand years ago, at least a thousand years ago, with uh, Ichibe and Bach at the table discussing a uh, non-aggression um, pact. So without further ado, let's get to this episode, see what's in store for us today. God, I love this gradation for the, um, for the pact, you know, for since we're in a flashback. And, um, well, what Ichibe wants to do for this pact, and Kitty, I swear to God, do not step on my cables. Um, is he's basically saying, look, we got to maintain the peace. You do your thing, Bach, um, with uh, your Quincy, and, you know, we'll take care of the rest. And Bach ain't having this shit. No, 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 no. He's not. And um, Ichibe, um, because obviously he's get he looks, it looks like he's getting attacked, too. But, yeah, um, well, Bach mainly ain't having this because, of course, uh, you know, he feels the pain from the souls he's taken in and all that. And, uh, um, Ichibe, I, uh, I forgot up until this, you know, this episode that Ichibe has, uh, the left arm of, uh, the Soul King. And God, stop it, kitty. When he uses it, it's, oh God, seeing him use it, it's just so gorgeous. Oh my God. And also Bach with the souls, um, going in his body is freaking gorgeous as well oh my god it's so pretty it is so gorgeous but god it's not as gorgeous as uh ichibe using um the left arm of the soul king holy shit and yes i know buck is using the almighty to boot he's trying he's trying but so is his um quincy who tried uh um to fuck with ichibe and um the soul uh soul king's um uh, left arm yeah, but oh god! Oh, I know I wanted to see this animation earlier, but I don't even fucking care. I know they saved it for this, for um, probably this episode and uh, and the final episode as well. Oh, but god damn it! It's so pretty. It's so fucking pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. But hmm. Ooh, so Ichibe basically. After, of course, uh, Bach, again, tried him with the blood wave, or, you know, the bloods, and, or blood's vein, there we go, in, which looks gorgeous. Um, Ichibe, you know, sh uh, sealed 
um, uh, the Almighty. But something I'm kind of torn about, actually, is if the reveal of the Soul King being um, Bach's uh, father, if it should have been in this episode, or if it should have been uh, either next week or at the start of Core 3. I want to know what you guys think um, about that. But, God, how how each of these um, sealed... The Almighty was beautiful, beautiful. But anyways, at around the, um, let's see, where is it? Around the um, 3 minute 51 second mark, we are at um, the fi uh, page 5 of chapter 388's adaptation of the manga, but... Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me right now. We are really, really skipping the first fight of the Soul Palace. You gotta be shitting me. Okay, so the first fight of the Soul Palace is against, uh, um, uh, oh my god. Um, Tenjiro. We're really skipping Tenjiro's fight. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me right now. Okay, so this is the full fight. I'm uh, since they're obviously fucking cutting it, I'm gonna go over the full fight here because it's on um, chapter. It's in chapter 588 and chapter um, 597. So here we go with that. Okay, so. This is it right here. Whoa there now. Don't you know where this is? You're standing in the Great Royal Palace. Have a little respect and introduce yourself. Me? I'm a member of Squad Zero. Divine General of the East, uh, Kirinji Tenjiro. Box just like, and you think the likes of uh, you will be able to stop me? If I didn't, why the hell would I be standing here? Then he unleashes, unleashes his hot spraying water. It, it's so hot. Ugh. And Hashimoto's just like, what the fuck? Uh, let's hear your thoughts, stranger. How do you like our hot spring water? This water um, is a little special, you understand? It'll drain the blood and Ryatsu from your body. Let me know if it's too hot. Not that I, um, I'll be willing to make it any cooler. Then he um, unleashes Glinsa, uh, wait, Glinsen, um Kinpika. And it didn't, um, it didn't affect him at all. And then we get to 597. Let me pull it up real quick. It's like page, uh, um, I think it's page three, right? Or it's page five of 597. Um, the hell's going on? I can't hit him with a single strike. Out of ideas that I trust you'll let me pass. Hold, hold it right there. He is again. He's not dodging and he isn't using any kind of illusions yet. I can't hit him. What the hell is he doing? Instead, it just goes to, um, uh, to Senjumaru. Why? Why did it do that? Like, why are you, like, skipping the first one? <laughs> skipping the first, uh, member of Squad Zero? That really, oh, that really pisses me off. Why? Why are we doing this? Instead, what, instead what we're getting here is Bog at the Royal Palace and just a shot of Senjumaru and then going into the opening song. You know what? You might as well have just skipped the opening song, done the, um, and had the shot of, uh, um, Tenjiro introducing himself and then, um, have, uh, or fuck, have the Tenjiro fight after, you know, uh, have the Tenjiro fight, then, um, and then uh, keep going, or even, uh, then do the stuff you wanted to do after the opening song. It, it don't make no sense. I'm so fucking pissed that they're skipping this shit. Why would you skip this? Ah, oh, okay. Where we're at after the opening song is uh, um, a chapter 598's adaptation of uh, uh, the manga where... Um, uh, Ganju shows up. And I'm gonna find out about this, but something is really irritating me here. Besides, obviously, the camera angles. And that's this. 
this being skipped, because um, Kubo fought to get a late nighttime slot for, you know, the lewd and the um, uh, crude comedy and all that shit. This was skipped. What are you doing here? Were you bored? You think I just, I come just because I was bored? What is this? A night out drinking? Then you wanted to expand your horizons? Is this a school club? You wanted to pull hot chicks? A band? Why was this skipped? This is ridiculous. And then this part, uh, like this part was skipped, but uh, I want to know what you guys think. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of annoyed that this was skipped, but I, the Tendro stuff, that being skipped pisses me off more. Is he right? Do you think I wouldn't have prepared for such things? Yeah. That being skip bothers me more. And also the com and obviously the comedy stuff uh, pisses me um pisses me off more. In addition, I really do like at the eight around the eight minute mark is I like that um as they're taking off, I like that we're seeing um the captains uh or that we're seeing like Biakia and uh, um and Basby, uh Renji and um and Rukia and um, even um, uh, and even Robert watching them take off. And Miyuri is such a smart ass too. And well, yeah, and uh, Unohara is watching them because Unohara is kind of important in regards to this. Because remember, Unohara has been foreshadowing all this the entire time. So him watching it is is understandable. But Miyuri watching this is just great, especially when he says that his one ugly liftoff, it couldn't have been adjusted any worse. I love Unohara, or not Unohara, I love Miyuri so much. But anyways, um, where we um, get back to, our, after all that, um, we get back to page eight of chapter 597's adaptation of the manga. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited. He sounds perfect. He is the moment, but, woo. Okay, so at the 9 minute 20 second mark, um, we, uh, get to, um, let me make sure I have the right page. Uh, page 10 of chapter 598's adaptation of the manga, but holy shit. That is not Weisel. That is not. I don't know who the fuck that is, but that ain't Weisel in the face. First of all, in the well, the colored edition, um, his eyes are orange for one thing. It's not here. Um, the eyes, like he is supposed to be, his eyes are supposed to be looking in the opposite direction. It's not here. He's supposed to have fucking teeth. He does not hear. Um, his tongues look funky. I do not like how his tongues are. Um, his tongues are supposed to be separated a little bit more. Uh, his nose looks too big. His hair is supposed to be giving, like, kind of more mullet realness, and it's not. And the hairline is wrong. And I think the reason why his face is wrong in terms of proportions, besides the eyes, obviously, is the jawline is a little bit too short. And that bothers me. And I'm not happy. I'm not... Uh, his voice is great, but God, that doesn't... That, why is, um, why is all that is not... Of course, because Tenjiro's fight was skipped, this is going to be skipped. And this is on uh, page 11 of chapter 598. That is why even that spiky head guy's water doesn't come near us. And your weapons won't either. Not one of your thwarts can even touch us. So that's how it is, huh? I see. You're awfully free with that tongue of yours, boy. Why the fuck? Oh, I'm so mad that Tenjiro's fight was skipped. Weisel's attacks, though... Is or looks so sick though. I am down. I'm down with how his attacks look. The pattern so uh, sewed onto um uh Weisel's uh cloak. By the way, that Sendro so uh, sews onto Weisel's cloak is wrong, cause it's not supposed to be a big diamond with four small diamonds in the center. Nah, it's supposed to be just four big diamonds with a couple of with X's in the center. And I wish the cloak was bigger. But it's not, and it really irritates me. And also, um, for, I, and also I wish the facial expression here was scarier. 
I wish he was more freaked out. I love this background, though. The purple background is great because it matches the colored edition of the manga. And I wish the hair... Again, I wish that hair was better. Oh, it bugs me. But the... Can oh, God, this camera angle for um, Weidel's death that I'm seeing here. Um, I really wish we would have gotten a little bit... A close-up. And then... Um, and then a profile. But I do like um, the threading... Uh, transition that we get here from uh, Sinchamaru. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I like that a lot. But, um, oh, God, I wish that was in profile. I do. And then let's see where this is. The 10 minute, 38 second mark, we get to um, chapter 599's adaptation of the manga. Oh, Sinchamaru's like, title card is so perfect because um, it totally matches uh, the um, uh, the title card for um, uh, chapter 599. It's so perfect. Well, it's, a, it's in profile, like ex close up, extreme close up in profile. It's, um, I like, I will say this, I like what they did here in the anime more. I like that it's over the shoulder like this. This is way better, in my opinion. So around, like, the 10 minute 56 second mark, um, we're, uh, back to Ichigo's group, and, um, and, uh, oh my god. It was taking me a second here. Ganju is uh, recapping, you know, what's happened in Soul Society and his thoughts on it. And uh, um, then, uh, you know, they're talking about the Soul Palace. And, yeah, he got exposed for that. But something that is really kind of sticking out to me is what Ichigo was saying about, you know, how, about the Soul King and... Uh, um, I want to, I want to, uh, yeah, Yorichi mentioned, uh, no, before each ago, Yorichi mentions the, um, uh, the soul palace and the soul king. Cause she only knows, she knows the stories of it. And it's the stuff that we kind of heard, um, earlier in the episode. Um, but, uh, where is it? Where's what Ichigo said? Here it is. Because Ichigo is questioning if he if anyone can replace the Soul King, and he says at the you know when he was training at the temple he saw these images. So I wonder if Ichigo is becoming more aware that he is the vessel of the Soul King and of what maybe of what Ichibe is trying to do. And it has me uh, this has me also wondering if or how not if how um. When the Soul King dies, what, how um, the anime is going to change it? Oh, it's gonna be so interesting. You know, after they, um, you know, discuss what their objective is, you know, to kick the Soul King's ass, because uh, Ganju is like, do you what? Um, do you think he's trying? You know, what Vok is trying to become God and replace him? He's like, how the fuck am I supposed to know? We just gotta kick his ass. <laughs> But um, after that, uh, we get to page six of chapter 598's adaptation of the manga. And man, this scene where, you know, they're talking, you know, reminiscing about um, rescuing uh, Rukia. This is adapted really nicely. And the flashback scenes, which were um, in the color manga, you know, blue and whatnot. This is adapted really nicely. I'm very, very pleased with this. And I'm pleased how everything with the fill out of the filler is transitioning with um, with the manga content. This was done very, very nicely. This is what I mean by having, by filler working with uh, um, the canon content and not making the episode disjointed. It, it's nice. I'm very pleased with that. But do I feel like something I'm wondering and thinking to myself is do I feel like the episode is a little bit disjointed? I feel like it kind of is in a way because I feel like all this content um, should have been in, should have been earlier, um, when they were taking off, 
and have the rest of, and then like have um maybe like have if you since we're gonna do the fucking episodes uh the opening song um have this either that or like what uh, what could have happened is and oh god i really feel like i feel like what the con actually now that i'm thinking about it the filler content that we had at the beginning of the episode should have been saved for prop i feel like it kind of should have been saved for um for next week to set up the ichibe um bot content and this stuff that we're getting here where they're taking off and going to the soul palace and whatnot part of me is thinking that should have been the beginning of this week's episode and then transition into the soul pa to the reading of the soul palace content that's where i'm kind of leaning towards but i'm very curious what you guys think because this stuff here going between this and the soul palace and yeah i know it's stuff that that's happened in the manga and it's kind of the order of events in the manga but it is at least in my opinion it kind of is making this feel a little bit disjointed at least in my opinion so at the 13 minute 27 second mark we get to page five of chapter 599's adaptation of the manga you know what i'm actually not too mad at borrow's design i'm not um I would, would I even say his lips are the problem? No, I think, I think Baro actually looks okay. I think the only problem I might have is with the chin or maybe a little bit more texture in some areas. But for the most part, Baro actually looks okay. But, And speaking of Perdita, I have to bring this up. Remember what we saw with the um, the uh, Soul King's arm at the beginning of this episode? I want to see that with Pernitas during his fight with um, with Mayuri. I need that shit so bad. What I want with Mayuri is, and I'll probably um, I'll probably talk about it more when uh, next week because I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to do a live stream this week. I'm going to do a live stream next week talking about uh, all four, all three episodes, uh, episodes 24 through 26. What I want to see for Mayuri is I'm going to see like a combination of uh, what we got earlier at the beginning of this episode with the Soul King's arm meets what we got with Asnod in um, uh, Asnod fight against Rukia. Give me those two combined. Oh my god, I need that shit. Oh, that would be so amazing. Oh my god, I hope we get that for that fight. Um, the one thing that is bothering me about Pernita's design is if you look in the manga, you see um, like the indentations of Pernita's fingers, because you know Pernita is a hand. That bothers me that it's not here, but part of me is like, okay, I kind of understand maybe to leave the mystery for the anime onlys, but uh, I kind of wish it was still here. Askin is looking okay. I'm not too mad at Askin. Uh, Askin is just giving Askin, but... Oh, Valkyrie, what the fuck did they do to you, my man? That is not Valkyrie. I'm really irritated at, at, at how they bastardized Valkyrie. Weidel is one thing, like, why I said Weidel and said Weisel, I'm sorry. Weisel is one thing, okay? Weisel, like, you can still kind of tell it's Weisel in a way, but that is not fucking Valkyrie. And I'm pissed, because I was looking forward to seeing Valkyrie animated. That is not Valkyrie. The chin is ass. It's way too short. The jaw, I don't have that masculine jawline going on. And the thing with Valkyrie, just like Master Masculine, with, with those two, I love the macho Stern Ritter a lot. Um, obviously, I love Basby and I love Giselle. The, I love them a lot, but um, but God, I love my macho Stern Ritter too. I love my Master Masculine and I love Valkyrie. They are fucking amazing. And to see Valkyrie, the Stern Ritter M, the macho Stern Ritter Valkyrie bastardized like this really pisses me off i am not happy with how he looks oh my god i'm so pissed and then we're seeing him attack um um 
um, Sinjimaru, and holy shit, that musculature. Holy shit, does it look bad. Or first, let's talk about the cloak first. After he removes his cloak, what the fuck is this? There's no nipples. There's the, um, the, you know, the muscles, uh, under, at the ribs, the full torso, the abs, the abs are, are meh. There's no muscles at the ribs. The are they're all, the arms look terrible. That is not Valkyrie. That is not him. And then when he goes to cut, um, Sinjimaru, he looks terrible. I am so mad. My boy looks terrible. And then we get to see the giant soldier here. There's no muscle. There's no muscles um, up here either. The fuck is this? Oh, I'm so mad. So mad. But dude, Pernita's power looks. Oh, god damn it! See, Pernita's power here gets me hyped for the fight against Viuri. Oh my god, please don't fuck up that fight. I need that shit to be done correctly. Oh my god, that fight's gonna be amazing. Oh, that fight's gonna be so epic. But god, this line, man. Oh, this line and this tile and how the tile card is executed. I am fine with how the tile card is here instead of earlier with uh, Senjimaru. Um, because with, oh, because the placement here is everything with Faro. Um, cause Baro says, Baro says his line, the losing side in a battle is always slow to understand and slow to react. From the moment his majesty entered the, this palace, the royal palace had already fallen. And then he shoots Sejibaro in the head. Yeah, this is everything. Oh my God. This was bomb as fuck. Holy shit. This was bomb. Oh my God. I love this. Oh, this was sick. Oh, God. Oh, God. This was amazing. So at the 15 um, minute, 30 second mark, we uh, continue with uh, chapter 600's adaptation of the manga. Well, this was skipped. Let me read the line here from uh, Valkyrie. After, and this is after uh, Sinjimaru's head is bleeding. You fool! What kind of idiot leaves a body lying in a place like that? It's in his majesty's path. Clear it away at once. Well, you heard him. Help me out here, um, uh, Pernita. It, this, this animation was so amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This was so sick. Oh, the cage. Holy shit. The cage looks fucking amazing. Oh my god. I love it. I love how the cage is forming and everything. It looks sick. Oh my god. I actually like the texture in the trunks. I kind of wish it's a I the only problem I'm having with the uh, um with oh god, I love how the hidden symbol appears. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Oh my God, this looks amazing. Um, I wish the uh, the branches, maybe, a, I kind of wish it, there was just a little bit more of um, uh, to, more texture up in the trees of the, um, of the cage and the way that that's executed. And I know this because um, for those of you that don't know, um, I've mentioned it before, I've actually asked uh, Studio Orange um, about uh, how they were able to get texture in um, Hoseki no Kuni. And what they said how to do it is they just need, they, and it was expensive, and that's why they didn't do more of it for B-Stars, is um, they used hand-drawn animation. And that's what needed to be done here. If, um, if, Studio, if Studio Peria, and I think it's because they probably didn't have the time to do it, if Studio Peria would have put like a little bit more hand-drawn animation in the trees, like in the trunks and the branches, it would have looked a lot better. I, I would have been a lot happier with it. Oh God, I really hate how Valkyrie looks. His shoulders are not broad enough either. Oh, are you fucking serious? You're putting Tenjiro here? Oh my God. What the fuck? 
fuck is this? So we're putting Tenjiro, we're going to put all of them here? Okay, I'm guessing this is a filler fight. Around like the 19, oh, minute, why well, I say 19 minute mark? Yeah, I'd say 19 minute mark. Um, uh, we get to chapter 600, um, 600's adaptation of uh, the manga. But yeah, this still does not change the fact that Tenjiro's fight was skipped. It was, it was skipped. I'll say this, Valkyrie looks a lot better here than he did earlier. But God, he still looks bad. But I will give props to his voice actor. His voice actor is great, but Jesus, man. Oetsu, though... <sighs> you know what? I'm kind of let down by the soundtrack here. Because this is the time where you put in, like, a hip-hop track or something. Like, earlier would have been perfect for, like... A Viking track for um for my boy Valkyrie, and here is like this is the time you have a wetsuit here. He is like a rapper, man. Where's the hip hop track, dude? He's fucking people up. He needs a hip hop track or a rap track. My boy's gangster as hell. Come on. Oh, I hate this camera angle. Oh, my boy should have looked more gangster than this. Oh. I hate this soundtrack for Wetsu. Oh, this should have been a rap track up in here. My boy was robbed. My boy was robbed. My boy should have been a gangster. He should have had, like, if Pepe could have an R&B track, my boy should have had a rap track. That is such bullshit. Bullshit. This background in the 20 minute 17 second mark. I love this. I want more of this. Give me more of this. This exposition of freaking art animation is, is beautiful. My boy fucking everybody up today. Oh, what's up? Yeah, that's my boy. But dude, you are robbed of a gangster track. That's so unfair. Oh my God. I love how the music slowed down as soon as Bot got out of the cage. Oh, that shit was amazing. Which, by the way, is on page 21 of chapter 602's adaptation of the manga. I swear to fucking God, if all the rest of this stuff gets cut, I am going to be furious. I'm sorry, it's that through, pay, through, uh, um, and it goes into page 603, um, it's adaptation of the manga, and I think, let me make sure I'm right on this. to uh chapter dude are they really cutting this much out hold up it just jumped to page like si 16 of chapter 604's adaptation of the manga what the fuck are you serious oh my god oh my god are they really gonna cut out uh, the rest of the squad zero the uh rest of the fights with squad zero oh my fucking god they better not be Oh, I will be furious if they do that. Because there's still a lot of fights up in this. Um, with Squad Zero. There is. Um, like, there's still, um, more fights with Askin. Um, uh, um, with the Wetsu and Askin. And there's... I think there's more fight with the uh, um, with the rest of them too, because Valkyrie comes back as well. Yeah, Oetsu fights. Uh, yeah, Oetsu fights Askin before this too. Are you fucking serious? Are we really cutting out Oetsu versus Askin? Are we seriously fucking cutting out Uetsu versus Askin for real? Hold up, let me double check this. Yeah, there's more with uh, um, Uetsu's fight with Askin. Which is, I, um, I ain't done, I'm hoping we're gonna see this next week. Cause there's this, I ain't done yet. If you, uh, you'll have to do better than that if you wanted to land a fatal blow on me. 
with this guy. The reason His Majesty took me in was quite simple. It's because I just wouldn't die. Um, a bit pathetic abil of ability, right? I hate myself just thinking about this ability of mine. It makes me feel so irritated. Oh, I hope this isn't skipped. Oh, I really hope so. Yeah, because, yeah, there's got to be... Yeah, we have the Askin and, uh, um... And, uh, Oetsu fight. That's gotta be next week. If we don't get the Oetsu Askin fight next week, I'm gonna be furious. Yeah, that's the one that's missing, is the Oetsu uh, Askin fight. I think that's the only other one missing from Squad Zero, is that. And then we have, um... We have some more Giselle and Robert content. But that's... and th Oh, and then we have... Uh, um, uh, oh, no! Are we going to see Bach take the rest of the, um, the souls from uh, the Sturmrider, too? Or is that going to be skipped? Look, here's the thing with, um, with the rest of this content. I think I'm going to wait to see if this content will be skipped or not what do you think kitty should i oh god i feel like i should at least go over it but part of me yeah i think this content has got to be here this has to be here. Yeah, this got to be here. Yeah, because there's still, yeah, there's still um, more um, Squad Zero content. So, yeah, this should be here um, uh, next week. Because the Squad Zero, because there's still more um, fighting with against Squad Zero. So, we'll wait until next week to see if... Um, the whole, uh, our episode is going to be Ichibe, um, versus Bach. I really hope not. And this is why I'm going to do my live stream, um, covering all three episodes because I don't want to make a complete ass out of myself and be like, yeah, they skipped all this shit when we don't know if that's going to be the case. Cause holy shit, if they skip the rest of the squad zero content and just have the whole episode be Ichibe versus Bach, I will be furious. I feel like what they're going to do is I feel like the first episode is going to be the rest of the Squad Zero versus, um, uh, versus Sturmritter content. We're going to get the rest of that content. Or at least, yeah, that's what I want. The first episode to be the rest of the Sturmritter versus... Um, uh, Versus Squad Zero content, have, or at least half of it be that. Um, I'd like it for the whole episode to be that, to be honest. And then see the end of it be Bach uh, taking the um, the rest of the souls, or, you know, the power back from the Sturm Ritter. I'd like to have that um, be at like maybe at the end of that. And then um, the rest of uh, the episode be uh, Bach uh, versus each bay. That's what I would like to see, um, but I, oh God, I'm so scared that they're just going to freaking skip all of that. Holy shit. I really hope I'm wrong. Oh my God. I really hope I'm wrong and they're not going to, I hope they don't skip it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys think that they're going to skip all of the content of, um, of the rest of the content with Squad Zero and just have the rest of the one hour special? be Bach versus Ichibi? I hope not. I really hope that they don't do that. I hope that we get still get the rest of the Squad Zero content and then have the Ichibe uh, versus um, Bach content, probably at least have the Squad Zero content um, and uh, have uh, see Bach get the rest of the, see the rest of the uh, Sturmritter uh, content at the end. Um, and uh, um, at the end, have uh, Bach get the rest of the souls and, you know, the power from the Sturmritter and then um, go into the Ichibe 
uh, versus bot content. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, I'm really scared that they're going to cut it. Oh my god, I hope they don't cut it. Oh god, please don't cut it. Oh my god, I'll be so furious if they cut it. Oh my god, don't do that. Please, I wanted to see the rest of this fucking fight, too. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, Bleach content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.